As we enter, come the critic upon the biggest adventure. Must be dementia that you ever thought you could touch our credentials. What's the initials? You'll be jam rock delivery. Yo, what's going on guys? This is Misery Mods. Welcome back to the channel. What I've got for you today, guys, is a super easy gift cards to friends glitch. Big shout outs to the founders, it is Lost Glitches and Friends for this awesome glitch. Okay, so a big shout out to them. Now, guys, just like before, you do need that one friend that is willing to gift you a vehicle and help you out with a glitch. Big shout out to Shabab here. He is going to give me this custom Trevor's vehicle. So thanks very much, mate. And also, guys, what you do need, um, the person that is receiving the car, like me here, what I've done, I've got a free LG and put it in the back of the MRC and I've just driven outside. Now what you're going to do is you are just going to jump in your um, free elegy and you're going to ask your friend to jump inside of the passenger seat. Now notice my friend's car that I am going to be taking it, it is outside of my bunker before we start the glitch, okay? That's very important. Don't have your friend's car too far away from your bunker. Once you're set up guys, what you want to do, your friend's in the passenger seat of your free LG, just make your way inside of your bunker. Now guys, if you are on the Xbox One, this is going to be a hell of a lot harder for you, but you do need to be in different target mode to one person on your friends list if you are going to attempt to do this, okay? Guys, on the PS4, I am recording on PlayStation today, and I'm going to pretty much just get an activity ready. So we've gone to any one of my activities and pretty much hovered over Start GTA Online, double press my, double tap my PlayStation, and it is there ready. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to ask my friend in the passenger seat to press Start and go to the Option menu and just stay on it, okay? So what I'm going to do now is just drive it to here. I'm going to right tap on my D-pad. I'm going to double tap my PlayStation and I'm going to accept the GTA Online alert. And I'm just going to stay on this screen here. Now your friend in the passenger seat, because he went on his options before we started the glitch, he can actually look on the map. Now, if he does not see us on the map, um, it's all good. What you need to do is wait about 30 seconds and your friend will then confirm that we have now spawned down by the docks. Okay, he'll be able to see on his map that we are showing that we are down by the docks. Once he's confirmed that after about 30 seconds, we are then just going to deny that alert. We're going to go under the map. We're probably going to get a black screen. We're just going to double tap our activity. We're going to accept deny, and then we're going to go to criminal enterprise. Okay. So once you go to criminal enterprise, you're going to press purchase. Once you press purchase, we are then going to deny. Now, don't forget guys, when you're purchasing, you're not actually buying anything. So it's all good. Okay. So what from here, interaction menu up, and you're just going to kill yourself. Now what that is going to do, it is going to spawn us down by the docks. Now your friend now will still be in a black screen, okay? You'll be in a black screen or you will be under the map, one of the two. Now what you want to do is bring up your interaction menu and what you want to do is spawn empty cab, empty trailer, okay? Just keep spawning, spawning them and what that's going to do is going to kick your friend outside of your um, MOC, okay? It's going to put you, your friend inside of your bunker and what he needs to do is get out of your bunker. So until he says that he's got out of, out of your bunker, keep spawning empty cab, empty trailer, okay? So it's really important that you keep spamming them until he is out of the bunker. Now, once he is out of the bunker and he's confirmed he's out of the bunker, you are good to go. So I'm just going to spam it a bit more until my friend tells me that he's actually left my bunker. So he's told me now that he's left the bunker. So from here, guys, what I'm going to do now is start up my CEO. Now, I'm just starting the CEO basically because I want to use the helicopter vehicle. If you haven't got the CEO or, you know, you can't get the vehicle, um, the chopper at all, what you want to do is just jump in a streetcar, okay? But, guys, if you have got the CEO, what you want to do is just start your CEO up and get the buzzard, okay? So I'm just going to make the way to the buzzard, and I'm going to show you exactly what we need to do next. Now, we do need, there is a part, a job on the map that we need to go to. Now, as you can see here, this is a job I need to go to. It looks a bit like a steering wheel, and I've just marked it up there. So, guys, if you haven't got a helicopter, just jump in the streetcar and make your way there. If you can't see jobs, guys, just press your interaction menu up and go to the hide options and make sure you're showing all jobs, and then pretty much just find that logo there that looks like a steering wheel and make your way to it. Now, it is a lot harder on the Xbox One, like I said, that very first part is going to be a bit of a pain for you guys. You're pretty much just going to have to work it out. I will attempt to do it on the Xbox One myself, and, you know, if I find an easy way for the Xbox One, I will record it on the Xbox One and show you guys to help you out, okay? Um, but, you know, for now, th this on the PlayStation just seems a hell of a lot better and a lot quicker, okay? So, guys, what we need to do now is just go to that marker that we, you know, with the steering wheel, like I showed you before. 
And what you want to do now is just jump out the chopper and make your way over to a streetcar. Like I said, if you haven't got the chopper, that's why it's not a problem. Just jump in a streetcar and make your way to this part anyway, okay? So what I'm going to do now is just jump in that streetcar and make my way over to that job. Now, once you are on that job, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to ask your friend now to, you know, once he's left your bunker, he's then going to go back into his own bunker and he needs to send you an invite to his MOC. So what you want to do is you want to bring his invite up and what we're going to do is we're going to press right on our D-pads and we're going to accept his invite at exactly the same time. So you're basically accepting the job and you're accepting the invite to his bunker at exactly the same time. And what you want to do after you've done that is quickly and um, just consistently tap right on your D-pad, okay? Just keep tapping all the way through this black screen and eventually you will spawn inside of your bunker. So I'm just keep right, you know, just keep tapping on that right D-pad and eventually, boom. Now, guys, you've only got about 20 seconds to get in your friend's car. So what you want to do is pretty much just run straight outside. This is why at the start of the glitch, I asked you to make sure your friend's car was pretty much outside your bunker. Now, once you make it into your friend's car, you actually don't have to do anything from here. In about 20 seconds, guys, what's going to happen is you are going to disappear into the back of the MOC with your friend's vehicle. So as we wait here, guys, it really is a quick glitch. Um, the more you do it, you know, the faster you get at it, really. So as you can see, we've got the black screen. That is now going to spawn me in the back of my MLC with my friend's car. Now, you are going to get kicked out of the car. You're going to try and get back in, and it's just going to kick you out again, okay? So what you want to do from here, as you can see, i am just jump in one more time. There you go. It kicked me straight out. So what you want to do now, guys, is just make your way outside of this MOC. Now, once you are out of the MOC... What you want to do, guys, is just make your way outside of your bunker. So it's pretty cool. It's easy as hell. Um, and definitely get on it, guys, because you know this, you know, Rockstar will patch it as soon as they can. Hopefully we'll have this all the weekend. You know, and once again, a big shout out to Lost Glitches and crew. Um, they do do a lot for the community and, you know, it's such a cool glitch and everybody loves to give cars to friends. Also, like I said, so once you're outside of your bunker, what you want to do is start a, a Titan of a job. OK, so we need to make that vehicle um, accessible to us. So pretty much just start a Titan of a job and then deny it. OK. Now, once you deny it, you're just going to spawn back on the ground. And what you want to do from here, guys, bring your interaction menu up and you are going to request your mobile operation center. So from here, guys, the glitch is completely done, okay? You're just pretty much just going to pull out your MOC and then what you're going to do then is just make your way to your MOC and either pull the car out or you can just pretty much do your interaction menu and you are going to request your personal vehicle. So it was a bit far, guys. I was actually going to run to it and I thought, no, nah, sod it. I'll get the interaction menu and just call my personal vehicle out, okay? And that is it. The, you know, the glitch is completely done. And what you're going to see now is you are going to see the, you know, the car that you've got off your friend. So don't forget, I know I go on about it, but guys, but if you are going to be taking um, custom retros off your friend to help him out, give him some money, make sure your friend has got that custom plate. So as you can see, guys, here it is. Here's the vehicle that I've got off my friend. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the glitch. Hope you have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.